Hello friends. In today's class, we are going to talk about single static assignment form, which is one type of three address code. Welcome again, and uh, this is the another three address representation that is called as single static assignment okay so a single static assignment is a type of a three address code only okay so let me read it out it's an intermediate representation that facilitates certain code optimization so in this uh, we we are <laughs> With the, the, the gain out of it is single static assignment. It facilitates certain code optimization. And the main thing, main rule is this. All assignments are to the variables with distinct name. Okay. Uh, let me just elaborate this statement more that each assignment, each assignment will be distinct. and no variable will be reassigned again okay so we will not assign any variable more than one time so here uh, this is a p is equal to a plus b to so in single st static assignment form i will say p is equal to a plus b but rather I will use here the term P1. Now Q is equal to, you say P minus C. So this P is this one only that it is P1 minus C. Now again, this statement is assigning the value of P again. But now we have to do what? We have to assign only once. So in this case, I will take P2 is equal to Q. And let me call it as if it is Q, then let me call it as Q1. Q1 multiplied by d then there is again p and here again the another assignment so i will say p3 is equal to e minus what this p and this p should be the latest one that is your p2 then there is a q q1 is already there so i'll write here q2 is equal to what p and this will be latest that is p3 and there is a q so this q should refer to the q1 only so this is uh, you can say the three address code and this is the corresponding uh, single static assignment form. This is one assignment. This is another assignment to different variable. This is another assignment that will be a different variable. Uh, this is a, another assignment that is in Q1 and this is another assignment that is in Q2. Okay. So no variable will be assigned again and each assignment will be distinct. Okay. So that idea it carries out and we call it as this form that is static single assignment form. So that's all for this uh, static single assignment form. I hope you understand this. It's a TAC, but assignment is restricted to only once. Thank you. Welcome again. And uh, this is another case where static uh, single assignment cause confusion. And uh, uh, we have already seen that static single assignment uh, required only this uh, one variable to assign only once so here it says that if flag and the flag is a variable and when we say x equal to minus one or x as x equal to one and then we have a statement y is equal to x multiplied by a now here uh, there is a if part and else part and two times x has been assigned for yes uh, computation is one and for no there is one another assignment if we use the different name for x1 is true uh, true part and the false false part then which name sh shall we use in the assignment y is equal to x multiplied by a okay so the idea is that if i just convert into a static single assignment form and here i say x1 equal to minus 1 or x1 is equal to 1 then here the question is that which x i will we are going to use okay so here which x will be used so it will be either x1 or okay fine this should, should be x2 sorry x1 or it could be x2 so answer is we have to use a function in this case that we have to use a phi function and phi will take the argument x1 and x2 and it will return the value 
whichever is applicable okay so we can take uh, think of a, a function over here which will take the argument x1 comma x2 okay and return appropriate return correct value of x okay, correct value of x okay so that's all thank you